So I'm going to give you two breathing exercises and I want you to see which one you connect with the most. Now, we live from this mind, the discursive mind, the monkey mind. And this is what we listen to all day and what directs our behavior and our habits. And it's always chattering. It's always telling us that we're not good enough. We can't do that. Don't, you know, why even bother? You're not going to succeed. You know, you must have done, you, you deserve that to happen. You're, you're useless. You're worthless, right? Why would someone pick you? Why would someone think that that's good, right? That's a crazy idea. <laughs> so... This mind is chattering at us all the time. It's self-sabotaging us all the time. What we need to do is instead live from what the Taoists call the heart mind. So how do we do that? How do we get out of this mind and into this mind? Well, I'm going to give you a way to start doing it. And that is by distracting this mind. So we're going to distract the discursive mind so we can just live from our heart mind. And when you can live from here, it's so grounding, it's so calming, right? You don't have this noise pollution of this chattering monkey mind just yammering at you all the time, telling you that you're going to fail. We need you to live from here because this is the truth. This is your true self. So I'm going to give you two breathing exercises. I want to see which you connect with the most. They're both designed to distract your mind. Okay? So the first one, we're going to breathe in and out. I want you to breathe in, and as you do, count. Like one, two, three, four. And then I want you to hold your breath for three. One, two, three. I want you to breathe out, counting. One, two, three, four, five. And then hold your breath for three. So you're going to breathing in, counting. Hold your breath for three, counting. Breathing out, counting. Hold your breath for three, counting. And I want you to just let yourself go. It's probably best to close your eyes. Um, many times we're not used to bringing that much oxygen into our lungs and people get dizzy sometimes. So you might want to start this first by sitting in a comfortable position with your back straight and breathing while sitting until you find out how your body's going to react to it. I once had someone come in to do some uh, Qigong with me a number of years ago and they were a heavy smoker and we were just doing some breathing exercises at the start. And they had to have a seat because they got so dizzy. And when we walk around with our chest like this and we're on the computer and we're nervous, right? we're not breathing. We're not. We're just taking shallow breaths. So we're going to be really expanding. Remember, using your diaphragm, breathing in from the belly, then here all the way up. Like just opening. Okay. So breathing, counting, hold for three, breathing out, counting, hold for three. So start just do that as a cycle, okay? I want you to see how you feel about that. Now, a thought may come, and that's okay. Just say, hey, thanks for coming, thought. I'm just going to let you go for now, and then go back to counting. Don't get mad at yourself. Don't get frustrated. It's okay. That happens, right? You're never, like, you're not going to be, like, zen and perfect. It's, it's, just, it's just not the way. It's not the way of life. Breathe. If a thought comes, thanks for coming, get back to counting. So the second one doesn't involve counting. What it involves is that you're going to breathe in and out, and I want you to notice the sensation on your nostrils as the breath hits the tip of your nostrils. So you're going to breathe in, like as full as you can, breathe out, as full as you can, and I want you to just focus on the sensation of your nostrils. So this also is distracting your mind because you're focused on the physical sensation. So the first one is more mental. We're focusing on the counting. The second one is more physical, more tactile. We're focusing on the sensation of the breath hitting our nostrils. And when I've done this and taught this to countless people in clinic, you know, different people will connect with different ones. And that's totally cool. There's no right or wrong. See, there's no black or white in any of this. It's you. It's your journey. Every body is different. Everybody processes things differently. And everybody connects with differently with different things. So your homework is, I want you, for the first days, first few days, I want you to practice both of them. Okay? Do the counting one for a while, and then do the, the breathing, the sensation one for a while. I want you to see which one you connect with. 
And then for the rest of the day, I want you to just use that one. But the next day, come back and use them both again and see which one you connect with. And in the end, you're going to find that there is probably one that you feel that much more comfortable with, that, that distracts you that much more, that helps you just get into the zone. That's all we're looking to do. Just get into that zone, right? And you'll feel it when you hit it. I'd like you to do this every day, every day through the whole course. This should be, you should be doing this. You should be doing this every day for the rest of your life. You know, in my Tao studies with my Shifu, this was a major part of something called internal alchemy, where we were actually changing ourselves, bringing our energy up, you know, and converting it and restoring it. So while you do this, you're actually changing your body. You're changing the way you breathe. You're going to be changing your posture. You're going to be opening yourself up. You're going to be expanding, re loosening your diaphragm. You're going to be expanding your lungs. You're going to increase your, your capacity to breathe. And that in itself is life-changing. And I want to challenge you to, to stretch your breathing. Don't force it. But naturally, you'll find, let's say that you started able to count to four. You know, I want you to, to stretch to five. You know, I've been able to stretch my breathing because I realized that, you know, for year, for decades, I really didn't breathe, right? So now my, my breathing is just so much different. So this is very powerful. And when I talk about, uh, you know, the spokes on the wheel, this is a major spoke. They're all major. But one of the reasons I'm showing you this is one of the very first things is I want you to start on this. Remember... Do not get mad or upset at yourself when a thought comes and you get distracted. You got to let that go. It's not important. It's, you're just human, right? It happens to me. It happens to my chief. It happens to everybody. But the thing is, it's not what happens. It's how we react to it. And that's part of what we'll be talking about this course. How do you react to it? And the thing is, let it go. The thought comes, I, did I pay my bill, you know, whatever it is, just let it go while you're doing this exercise. You can always come back to it later. So breathe, my friends, breathe. Distract your mind, and I want you to just to get in the zone. And your ultimate goal is to get one perfect breath. So the breathing is quiet. It's just in and out through the nose. You don't have to move your arms. I'm just doing that for example. You can if you like. Back straight so that you can get a good breath. And I just want you to find that rhythm. Find that zone. Maybe you can do it for one minute, you know, two minutes. See if you can stretch it to ten minutes to see how far you can take it. And you're going to have to set aside time each day to do it. Yeah, I know you might have kids running around. I know you have work. I know you might have to cook dinner. You might have to take the dog for the walk. I know you have to do all of these things. But remember, you're important. You're ultimately important. And you have to find the time each day. You have to take the time. Nothing is more important than you right now. Not during this journey, not ever. Because you need to be strong to give to others. I say it a million times. The pilot in the jet airliner says, what if there's turbulence? Mothers, put your mask on first, or fathers, put your mask on first, or caregivers, before you put it on whoever you're taking care of. Because if you pass out, right, you can't do anything. And if you're burned out, and if you're, you're collapsed on the ground, curled up in a ball of anxiety, and things are too overwhelming, you can't help anybody. You have to heal yourself. This is a major, major thing, the breath work. And I can't state it enough. Enjoy it. And you might find it really hard at first. You might find it really challenging. But that's okay, right? Let it go. There's no judgment. You're not judging yourself because it doesn't matter. You're just going to do whatever you can do, and that's all that you can do. I look forward to hearing from you how your breathing is going. Peace.